Hey guys, Skelly Crafter here, and today we blend in style. Today we're gonna learn how to make a Minecraft blender pickaxe. Or blender Minecraft pickaxe, whatever floats your boat. My boat sank though, so I'm sorry. This is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It's a 3D pickaxe, not a 2D pickaxe, so don't worry. It's not a texture on an alpha background. You can literally do things with this pickaxe, like make it animate like this we and then it's gonna go down into the floor and you know no one likes it when it goes down into the front and it's gonna then it's gonna come back up and then and then and then and then and then we I don't know what I'm doing let's get started shall we let's open up a new blender folder folder file and this is what it looks like I'm on 2.74 if you're wondering, if you're watching this five years into the future, I'm sorry. You're probably on like Blender 3 or something. You're going to want to delete the cube. I'm going to go to Screencast Keys just to show you what I'm clicking in the bottom left corner. Shift A, Mesh Plane. This is your plesh. P plesh? This is your plane, okay? You're going to want to now go to the Material tab, add a new material, and you're going to want to change the defuse to black. You don't want to see any of that. You want it to be black. You're going to want to add a new texture in the texture tab. Click new texture. You're going to open a texture. Now, you want to open a Minecraft um, pickaxe file. Folder, not folder. Like an image file. Now, I've got a PNG file of the items.png. So, every single item in Minecraft. So, I'm going to open that up. It's not in here because I didn't put it in there. And there it is, items.png. So it should show in this thing, but in case it's not showing, you press N, and you scroll down to shading, and you press texture to solid. Now it should show, but it's still not showing. I okay, go to file, and then you go to user preferences, and you go to system, and then you go to MIP maps, and you turn MIP maps off. Saves user settings, whatever. And then it should show. Nope, still not showing. Okay, let's open a n new window folder thing. Now, this is a beginner level. Just saying, okay, guys? So just in case, you know, you're wondering, wait, what does this even mean? You might want to go watch a tutorial on actually how to use Blender. So now you're going to open up the UV editor if you've never used it. You're going to go open up items.png, which should be located here if you add it to this one. You're going to scroll down here, by the way, and you have to go to image sampling. Turn off mip maps, turn off interpolation, and then turn on feline, and turn down the filter size, and tick minimum filter size. You don't need to turn it down if minimum filter size is on there. So you know, there's that. Now you want to go into you want to go into edit mode. So you pr either go to edit mode here, or you press tab, and then you press U. This means you're unwrapping the square, the mesh, this thing. I don't know if the cursor is showing. And you're going to put it into the UV editor thing. I don't think my cursor is showing. I'm sorry about that, guys. So you're going to press U and unwrap it. Now it should appear in this area. So now if you want the pickaxe, you can go for any other items, by the way. But we're going to learn how to do the pickaxe today. I'm going to press S and we're going to scale this down. Now you should be seeing it on this side. If you don't see it, do the things that carefully. Ch do the things that I told you to do earlier more carefully. Just in case you didn't do it properly. So you want to um, go around with G. And you're going to press S to scale. And you can press R to rotate if it's not in the correct um, area that you want. So you're going to just like, you know, put it in the correct area. Then you're going to press Shift S, select the pixels. Now what this is going to do is select the correct amount of pixels on here. Just in case it's not correct. So yeah. Now we're going to go and if this is not up, you press T and it comes up. You press subdivide, and you want to subdivide until each pixel goes on this. Now, it seems like it wasn't the pixels weren't aligned properly, so you're going to want to undo that, and I'm going to want to move this a bit more until it's properly aligned. Um, I just shift D by accident. Um, select the pixels, and I'm going to do it again until it's aligned with the proper pixels. Now, it's not aligned, so I'm going to have to do it again! I hate doing things again. You know, doing things again is annoying. I didn't even shift S. I am stupid. I'm setting such a good example for what you're supposed to be doing here. Uh, this is not going to plan today, is it? 
Look, okay, I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna do that, yeah. Nope, that's not it. Do that. No, that's not it. I'm gonna do it again, and hopefully get it right! Oh, maybe the scale isn't enough. Oh my god, the scale wasn't enough the whole time. So as you see here, you have to do it perfectly, otherwise... Things might mess up and you don't want that to happen. Now, this is what we were looking for. So, a uh, box. So go to face select. A box should align with every single pixel. Just press Z. Should align with every single pixel. Here, okay. So now we don't need the UV editor for now. So you can get rid of that. Um, get rid of it, I said. And now we're going to want to select the pickaxe with every single box. So press C. And then just drag with right click, no, left click, until you selected everything. And if you accidentally select the black bits, you use the middle mouse to unselect it. Here, I'll show you just in one second. So you press middle mouse, and then it gets rid of it. So I don't want that, don't want that, I want that, um, don't want that, don't want that. And this is the pickaxe. Now we go to select, and we click inverse, we press X, and delete the faces. Now you've got your pickaxe. But it's 2D, and no one likes 2D. So, we're going to make this 3D. You go to Modifiers, add a modifier, Solidify. Now, a good Solidify would be to 0.1 or 0 0.1 or whatever. This is good Solidify, but as you can see, it is flickering. And we're going to fix that issue. So, you're going to want to click Apply. Now, you're going to go back into Edit Mode. And then, you're going to Alt Right Click. Alt Right Click. Now, sometimes it might do this. You want to do it on the side until it highlights every single thing around the edges. We're going to go back to the UV editor now. So if you just want to pull up a new window, you just do this. And then you go to UV editor. And this is the UV editor. So now, as you can see here, we have a problem. Oh god, we have a bigger problem. I included a black bit! Ah! Problems, problems, problems. Okay, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete that. And really quickly, don't pay attention to whatever I'm doing right now. Uh, oh, no. Don't pay attention. Don't worry, be happy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't worry. Ooh, don't worry, be happy. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this edge. You you understand what I'm doing when I tell you what I'm doing, which is when I'll tell you what I'm doing. So basically, what we want to do because we don't want this flickering. We're going to want to choose everything, and we're going to want to put all the stuff, so I'm going to, we're going to want to put all the stuff in one color value. So, I don't want to choose this, because I want to do the stick. Now, the stick is brown, it's not um, blue, like, you know, the diamond is. So, I want to choose, I want to choose this. Now, using the same method with the C, we're going to just highlight and unhighlight the ones. So, we're going to unhighlight the blue, and we unhighlight this. And then, so this is the whole thing. Now we're going to scale to make it incredibly small. So small, you wouldn't even notice it. I'm going to, what, what's with this, man? So small, you wouldn't even notice it. I'm going to press A to select all of it. And I'm going to drag it all the way into this little pixel. So now we fixed the stick of the pickaxe. It's all going pretty well, right? Hey? But this is still fl flickering. So we're going to want to choose all of these. So I'm just going to choose all these sides. We're going to scroll right through all of them. Select all of them, not scroll right through all of them. I said s select, not scroll. How's your day? My day has been okay so far. Well, uh, pfft, yeah, it's just normal days, I guess, you know. So now that we've selected all of them, we're going to want to do the exact same thing again. And that is scale it until it says small, you don't even notice it. And I'm going to put it on the edge of the diamond. So UV wrapping is basically wrapping textures on a texture, which is self-explanatory. So now these bits are on this bit, and all of these ones are on the brown bits. So now you made your diamond pickaxe. Hooray, everybody. You've done it. We've did it. We've did it. We're Dora the Explorer. And now you could just look at that beautiful pickaxe you did right here you can render it you can do whatever you want turn on ambient occlusion and there's your beautiful pickaxe so as you can see in this old one where this thing was flying for some weird reason I'm gonna just put it on there 
press I, lock on scale, you don't need to do that. And then you got your beautiful pickaxe, which is currently rendering. Please render faster. I gotta, I gotta show these guys. So this is your beautiful pickaxe on. It's floating. It's floating. It's floating! This is your beautiful pickaxe that now you can put in any animation. You got a file, you can import. Uh, no, you can export and then import in another file. Or you could use the append, which appends from a different file. This is the exact same one, so I'm not going to do that. So, guys, if you've learned something from this video, don't forget to give this video a like and a subscribe. Uh, subscribe to my channel, not my video. I'm mixing up my words today. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't think. If you want to learn how to export a Minecraft world into Blender, you can do so by checking out the video in the top right corner. And thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you learned something. I don't have an ending. That rhymed.